this area and this neighborhood, then you will know where I am. And if you know where I am because you watched my latest vlog, you will also know what store is in this area. And then as a result, you will know today is a monumental day because your homegirl is going to be upgrading her bike. Yes! Oh my gosh, I am in this specialized store and I'm gonna just go browse and look at some bikes today. Hello! Hi! Hi! Okay, you're welcome. It's Rick again! Yo, what's up? Hi! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so as you guys know, um, what the past six months or so, I've been riding the carbon bike that was built and it was ordered from aliexpress my baby my always i'll always keep it in a special hall of fame at home which is by the entrance so i've been riding very consistently okay i've been trying to go faster i have been going faster mm -hmm. i think when i started riding i think my average speed was like 24 okay. 25 but then lately it's been sort of like 29 30 ish because yeah. you improve with more cycling you get better yeah yeah it's for sure and i've been trying to go out riding with different groups of people so like yeah. some of them they really push me to go Correct. faster so yeah. i'm just pushing the entire time yeah. um but because of that yeah. i want to try to look at getting a new bike sure and upgrading to like a legit one and obviously so many people ride specialized bikes so right. i am back at the store uh, okay you're at the right place yes <laughs> so i mean i'm gonna ask so many questions today because this is my first specialized bike ever okay so i would love for to like know all the different types okay obviously i'm not I, like I, I did my homework mm -hmm. but i would love to just hear the differences okay and then i don't know if you're looking for a new bike as well then you can go through this process with me yeah all right so we're looking for a road bike i believe yes and uh, with that, uh, basically, a few questions I like to ask. What kind of rides do you normally do? Um, okay, so definitely, definitely committed to cycling now. So that's okay. why that explains like the upgrade. Okay. Um, but then, these days I've been going out like three times a week, okay. and I want to go faster. I okay. think that's definitely one of the things. Okay. Um, I don't know. What are some other people's usual goals? Like some people do it for leisure, just chill. Yeah. Some people is. Uh, some people say they want to go. Um, Example, they've been mountain biking, but okay. they're hardly going to the mountains. They're going to the park connector, so they don't need the car. Ah, so okay. our goal here is to find you the bike that oh, you need. Oh, hell no! Nah. We're not trying to go <laughs> slow here. No, 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 no. Okay. We, okay, I, wanna, okay. I would love to start going faster. I would okay. actually love to eventually do some races. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously not a pro cyclist, but okay. I'd love to work towards like seeing okay. myself improve okay. in terms of speed. And then also just training myself so that I can notice that my heart rate is not, okay. you know, as insane as it is now. Okay. What are the different types of bikes? Because there's so many here. Okay. Uh, we start off on this corner here. Yeah. So here you have a range of bikes. So you can look at the Tamek SL6. That, that'll be a base model for carbon. Yeah. Okay. So this one starts about 4001. Uh, basically, you got a 10 speed, but it's a carbon bike with disc brakes. It's good enough for a beginner bike if you want something carbon. You can progress higher again, Tamek SL6, but this is with a 105 group set. Okay. So the group set determines the, the, the price point. So the ATOS, the one behind you, um, that one is designed, it's lightweight, it's comfort, it's for long distance rides. Okay. So if you're looking to do, doesn't mean you can't race, you can race in them, but it gives you just a bit more comfort if for the long century rides, you want to do 100, yeah. 150. So ATOS is actually bike. comfortable yeah, super for Super light, yeah, super okay. light bike. But one thing I, I was doing my research, mm -hmm. my homework, mm -hmm. ATOS is, so light that mm -hmm. some competitions or races don't allow you to. But that's how, how you spec the bike. You, you, the weight is controlled by what the else person that's been here. Okay, exactly. okay. So, All right. you can so we're achieve, just talking about pure yeah. frames right now. Correct. Okay. Uh, frames or full bikes. Okay. You can achieve the weight by just adding or removing things. So when people come to specialize, like this store specifically, can they get a fully built bike sure. already? Or you can also buy it separately and just do so it at home? You can, do a, you can get a ready-made bike which is fully assembled. You don't need to worry about what to put it in, etc. Yeah. But you can also get a frame set which you can build up according to your desired components. Okay. You can choose wheels, you can choose handlebar to your desired length, yep. etc. Okay, gotcha. So Tarmac, Athos. Uh, there's a Tamek SL6. SL6. The one that we're talking about is the Tamek SL7. So far, this uh, is a very popular bike with a lot of our customers. Yeah. So the Tamek SL7 is proven um, in races. I think it's won a, a world, two world championships. 
and one with the ladies world championship as well. Damn, one yeah. day! <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, but this is an s works variant, but yep. there are models that uh, come in between, you don't have to get an s works variant. So is this like creme de la creme kind of thing? This, when it's s works it's yeah. the pinnacle, it's the best. Got everything well, on it, yeah. You know what? I have a feeling this is something for me to work towards, yeah. and probably not for today. Yeah. Okay, wait, so there's the s works is like Pinnacle, yeah. and then there's Tarmac, yeah. uh, SL7, SL7. The, that's the one that's branded Specialized. Yeah. Of course, you've got Ethos, yeah. you've got Ruby, you've Ruby got SL6. Is, so huh? what's Ruby amongst all of them? Ruby would be a long distance endurance bike. The name uh -huh. of the Ruby is taken from the race, the Paris Ruby, where they race over cobblestones. So that's uh, designed to provide the extra comfort. Okay. So gotcha. it's all the vibrations is absorbed by the bike because of the, the design of the bike and what's behind the bike. Okay. We talked about Tarmac, yeah. Rube, and then uh, Athos, and then we have... The Ali that just launched Ali, two days ago. Ali yeah. Sprint. Ali Sprint. Okay. So this is the aluminium version of uh, basically a Tarmac, I would say. Yep. So it's a upgraded, a revamped design from the old Ali Sprint. Yep. It actually has the same uh, seat post and fork as the Tarmac SL7. But the biggest difference is what it's made out of. Yeah, it is aluminium. Okay. Yeah, and Wait. it's a top grade aluminium. All the welds that you see are, are smart weld technology. So it's actually used for criterium races before, but it's made into a robot. Okay, but when we're talking about aluminum, I think the immediate thought I and probably, you know, mm? some others would have is that it's very heavy. Is it a lot heavier? Because right now my bike is very light. Yeah. So if I switch to something that's hella heavy, will I feel the difference? Or is it still relatively like I think the right quality would be different. Okay. But heavy actually it all depends because you've got customers who, who, who got a frame and they build a bike. Normally the Ali Sprints are, are souped up. You find all the top specs in Ali Sprint. Okay. Uh, my old Ali Sprint was about 6.5 kg. So what you were on as well? Yeah, yeah previously. So okay. it's all up to you what you're okay. doing. Depends on what else you put on. Exactly. Right okay. like now on this bike we set it up with the new carbon wheels. Yep. And even um, the 10 wall um, tires, so it makes a whole lot of a difference. Gotcha. All right, and then aside from the Alley Sprint, there's the Alley. The Alley, the, uh, yeah, that, that would be a beginner's beginner's bike. Somebody is not sure whether they want to get into the sport, but okay. they want something to ride around, to commute, a road bike. Then ah, okay. the Alley would be so, in the Alley. All right, well, now that I know that I'm committed to it, then I can go for something a little bit more. Yeah, I would, okay. I would think um, uh, you wouldn't go wrong with, uh, with, your, with what you told me. With the Tarmac Comp or the Ali Spring. The Tarmac SL7 Comp, this is currently the hot seller. Uh, basically, what they get is the same shape as the Tarmac SL7 S Works, just that it's a different grade of carbon, but the shape wise, everything is the same. So, everybody is actually, uh, they want to start out, they want to get something without having to change. This would be the, the best choice. Uh, um, that I would recommend if you want something racy. Yep. Okay? It's already got a 12 speed uh, SRAM rival EXS, so that's wireless. The seat post and the stem is exactly like the Tarmac SL7 S works. I think when customers buy this, usually you find customers upgrading the handlebar and the wheels, and that will make a total difference. But it's a good start point. So this is for those who are already quite intense, yeah. riding regularly, yeah. going quite fast, Correct. but still have not wanting yeah. to go to the S-Works to, to get to the, the top yet. Okay. So usually when customers start off uh, with a regular Ali to see whether they like cycling or not, when they upgrade, they, this is the bike they look for, mm. or the Ethos Com. So the Com models are a good price point and uh, what everybody wants. And guys, the most important bike of all is this little guy over here. OMG, look at the specs on this, so cute. Wow, wow, look at that aerodynamic, guys. <laughs> um, you already know, my future kids are gonna be riding this, all right? Except it's gonna be, it's gonna be matte black for my kids. <laughs> Mustache man, we are back in the store. Yes. All right, so these two are rim brakes. Mm -hmm. um, so if I were to consider the new Alley Sprint, yep. that one's a disc brake. Yep. My current bike that I'm riding um, is a rim brake as well. What's the biggest difference between rim and disc brake? I think uh, this debate has been going on for a while, but these days, most um, mid to high-end bikes, you'd find them switching up to disc brakes already. Even the racers, the Peloton is using the disc brakes. 
with these brakes, you find a more effective braking. Okay. So the brake, the touch points is basically off the ground. You're not close here where sometimes you get in the rain, in the yeah. mud, you, you get into contact with the tires. The disc brakes will be centered so you hardly get debris on the okay. disc brakes. So you get better effective braking and in a race, you can brake later. You don't have to brake from a distance. And start pre you know. preparing to brake. Okay, that's definitely what I do in the rain right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in the rain then, mm. which one? Is there a better or a worse? The, the, the disc brakes, because I think um, it's more effective. And okay. like you say, here you get you get water, you get you get mud, you get everything on the rain brakes. That is better. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Is there anything that as a rider that I'm doing differently, other than braking later, yeah. but I'm changing from rim to disc brake? Like there's no big difference in terms of how you, I... you feel difference. Okay, you feel it's different. easier though. Yeah, easier okay. because the brakes would be on the hydraulic, so it's very plush. I okay. use the word. Oh, uh, plush. Very good. Yeah. It's very plush. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Yeah. And also, I love how we're like, we're gonna break it. <laughs> we're like, uh, okay. So, there, but there's no like issue. I don't think there's gonna be any problems with me switching to disc brake. No. Nah. It's kind of leaning towards the Alley Sprint. Yeah. Um, and I think from the price point perspective, it's also not at the same level as. Yeah, because it, uh, you're getting a good performance grade aluminium uh, racing bike in the shape of the tarmac, you're getting a uh, disc brakes. Uh, I, I tell you, everybody who has, whether they have a bench, a tarmac, or an ethos, they would still want to get a sprint in, in, in with them, and then they will soup it up. It'll be really? special, really special bike. The newest Alley Sprint that came out literally this week, mm -hmm. compared to the old Alley Sprint, Which what's you have the one biggest in, uh, difference? The shape. It's a okay. totally different so shape. It's even more like the tarmac. Correct. Okay. It's, it's basically shaped like a tarmac, aluminium version of the tarmac. Okay. The yeah. old one wasn't. The old one wasn't. The old one has got its own. Um, it's got its own design features, which has been so popular. Yeah. The Alley is a popular category with most riders who are starting up. But the, 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 the sprint is the performance version. The, the new one is it's out of this world. It's chef's yeah. kiss. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take a, a closer look at the Alley Sprint. We're gonna see if this is the right one for me. And maybe you'll see me on the road in Singapore with a new park next week. Is this the one? <laughs> Many hours later. Yeah. The other variant you see there is wow. the black to silver feet. Wow, look at so this. That one also has got its own unique look. Very classy. The logo is like a, like a chrome kind of logo. Yep. Okay, so I think after checking out all the different bikes and getting explained which one's what, I feel like the, the new LA Sprint, since they have it here, I feel like that's the one I'm leaning towards. And I'm looking at this one right here. So this one it has a, actually has like super kick-ass wheels. These ones are carbon wheels. So I think I'm actually gonna go with like the spiced up version of the new LA Sprint. And I'm so, so excited. Also, I ha they have the cotton tires, which are really similar to the ones that I have right now in terms of the style. And I feel like it just adds a little bit of a mm. So I think, guys, this is the one. I think this is the baby that we're gonna go home with. So excited, honestly. So I think I have made a decision. Right. I think this is the baby I would like to I couldn't agree more. Go I think we got you sorted. Yeah. It, uh, up your alley. Yeah. Um, it's got it's got super up wheels already. Yeah. So it's been upgraded with the wheels and the Compared tires. Compared to this one, right? Yeah. Correct. So that'll be the um, the original how it would look like. This we've upgraded the rims and the yep. tires. So Alright. It looks like you, it's it's suit you to a T. Yes! My plan yep. today was to pick the bike yep. and then Tomorrow, I'm gonna go get it fitted yeah. back to the measurements that I had last time. Yeah. And then... Get ready. And then I'll be riding next week! Yeah. Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, you look cool. Look at the reviews, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, so okay. excited. Okay. okay, so just uh, just need to do a few final sure. Sure. things and then we're leaving this place with this bike! Yay. Yes! Yes! Yeah. So excited. I am going to do this bike Justice, I'm gonna go riding so much. I'm gonna go so fast. <laughs> We're gonna do more cycling fundraisers with this baby over here. It's gonna be a good time. I'm so sorry right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your guidance. Anytime, come back anytime. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes. Hopefully I'll come back many times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got you all sorted. Yeah. Okay. All right.
Alright, hello! It is Sunday, it is the next day, and I am now back at Performance Bike Fitter. Gary, say hello! Hey! Alright, so the new beautiful bike is getting set up over here, and we're gonna get it fitted, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna document it, of course, and then hopefully everything will be good to go, and I can go riding as early as tomorrow. So, we shall continue! Gary, we are back. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, except this time with a different bike. Okay. The very new, very sexy new Alley Sprint bike, which yeah. was the decision after yesterday's uh, specialized store visit. Yep. Since you came for the previous bike fit, and now that you have a new bike, um, we'll get the measurements and the data from the previous fit, and then we will see how we, how similar we can map it over to this bike. Yeah. And then. Uh, from there, we'll make some minor adjustments and yeah. you should be on your way. Can I just say, I noticed a difference. This morning, I had both bikes, my old one and this new one beside each other. This one just actually looked bigger, even though it's the same 49 size frame size. Um, is that normal? The previous one you had is from a different brand. Yeah. And although it's 49 and the previous one is also 49, measurements and the geometry do differ okay. between brands. So it's best to get it like uh, fitted again, yeah. or you just have to make minor adjustments. Yeah. And for people who wants to buy bikes, multiple bikes, um, it's something to take note that not all 49s are the same, not yeah. all 52s are the same. Okay. And even for like aero bikes or like a more endurance bike, yeah. the geometry can also differ. Okay, because I noticed everything is just a little bit taller yeah, <laughs> this time around like when I stand beside it I'm like wow the other bike feels much shorter so yeah. all right hopefully it should be still fine right yeah. we'll see how I ride I already know this is too tall I think so we'll see how it goes okay. <laughs> um, anything else um, today will be much quicker since we already have all the stuff ready right yeah so, so, so this is like a more of a you know, quick fix kind okay. of thing so you should be Pretty much okay after this after this fit, yeah. And you need to go and ride a bit more, and then you come back and do some minor adjustments depending on how, depending on how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I will say though, since the last bike fit, although my hands are numb, my knee pain is gone, which is great. Like the sharp needles, yeah. not there anymore. My back is actually like okay, so yeah. I don't know. I think I, I've ridden quite a bit actually since yeah. the last time I came here. This is the report that yeah. you have. Okay, so this is the report generated from the previous fit. Uh, I will start by making the adjustments to be similar to the previous bike then we will hop on and we will see how you are riding with as similar measurements as possible Okay, and then we make adjustments for that Yeah Alright, cool Sounds okay. good cool. Let's go! Okay. Gary is working his magic now We're now gonna switch the saddle and see if this one, which is the one that I was riding on before, is going to be a little bit more comfortable. Now that we have changed the saddle, okay. do you feel a difference in uh, using the Mimic wider one? I like the, the squishy part, like the cushion. Yeah. Okay, okay. In general, like when I'm riding, I don't think it's a big difference. It's not a huge difference, but okay. I think in terms of just, it just feels comfortable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, like this one. I do like this one. No problem is where we yeah. want to be, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Are we good? We're good. Pretty much done. It's a wrap. Oh wait, not done yet. Pretty much done. You just need to take it off. Yeah, just take it off. So you guys. Later. 
Good morning, everybody. I'm right about to head out. It is my first ride with the new bike. I'm so excited. I'm really curious to know and feel what the difference is between my old one and this new one. Obviously, the frames are entirely made differently and also disc brakes for the first time. So tons of firsts today. Uh, let's just go out riding. And my voice is very raspy because it's hella early today. All right, let's go. Oh my god. 